for a number of years we've been talking about diet and I've actually used diet in my practice to not only improve health but it also has uh, effects on prevention. Now that this gut microbiome field has um, erupted, um, there's lots of scientific evidence to say that diet has a very important impact on our gut microbiota. The foods we consume can actually change our microbiota in a positive way, but it also can be in, in an actual detrimental way. 80 to 90% of our immune system resides in our gut. And because of that, um, when we consume different dietary components, the microbes in our digestive tract change. And then these microbes have the ability to secrete different types of substrates or components which actually can influence our immune system, change our metabolism, and it actually can influence all of our health and in some cases can lead to different chronic conditions like obesity, diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease. Unfortunately, we have not the perfect diet to cure the microbiome, but we have enough evidence to suggest that if we eat more fiber, it's beneficial to our gut microbes and has beneficial health effects. Fermented foods have positive effects. Increasing fruits and vegetables, so a more plant-based diet has been suggested to um, enhance our gut microbiota, as well as um, consuming healthy fats. Fermented foods and probiotics are two separate things. And one of the key components of a definition, or part of the definition of a probiotic is that it actually, the bacteria must have been studied in clinical trials and been shown to have health benefit. Fermented foods, even though they may not be considered probiotics, have a lot of other additional health benefits that um, are good for a healthy gut.